Hi, my name's Phil. I like talking about politics and in this video I like to discuss how the Conservatives are now planning on gutting their flagship HS2 levelling up project. A move that has attracted no small measure of opposition from Conservative MPs, particularly in the Midlands and the North, who will have to explain to their voters why their party in government is so useless. But first, if you'd like to be notified of daily news and politics, please subscribe to the channel. So HS2 rail project. Always been controversial because it has meant no small amount of destruction to natural habitats and people who pay attention to politics always doubted that the Tories would deliver the benefits that they were promising. So what were the promised benefits? Well it was supposed to link up the north of England with like Birmingham and London. The idea was that we would have high speed rail capacity to allow people in the north to work in say London for example. But over the years, the Tories have been scrapping more and more of the project. Now there is talk of not even connecting the new line with Birmingham into central London. So the project, his entire premise was connecting London with other major cities in England, is not actually even going to go into London. But that's OK, because it's not going to go into the northern cities either. Ian Stewart, a Conservative MP and chair of the Transport Select Committee, told the government in Parliament that running the line from Birmingham to Old Oak Common, which is like on the outskirts of London only, would be false economy. Other Tory MPs have complained about the disruption to the environment caused for no practical benefit. One said that the government should either do it properly or not do it at all. As is becoming typical of Sunak's government, the Secretary of State was completely absent from the debate. Now, this is happening a lot, I have to say. They're sending in junior ministers because Sunak has filled his cabinet with cowards. Too afraid to even face their own MPs in Parliament, never mind ones on the opposition. So this hapless junior sent to placate MPs was Richard Holden. Now, you look Richard Holden up and you say, OK, so what is his role within the Department for Transport? He's the Parliamentary Undersecretary for Roads and Local Transport. So not rail then. He's not even the junior minister involved in HS2. They may as well have sent Larry the cat. Holden had the nerve to say the government were being responsible by saying it was its right to check policies and that he was proud that they were on the side of the taxpayer, on the side of the motorist, on the side of the HGV driver and on the side of the bus, bus passenger. And I thought, well, let's see now. This project is being described by even interested Conservative MPs as false economy. That if not actually, if it's not actually going to link up these major cities as promised, then it doesn't do what it's supposed to do and we may as well not have it at all. This is a widely held view outside Parliament as well. So by not actually completing the project, the government are creating a certain amount of environmental damage but not delivering any of the benefits we were supposed to get to compensate. So the government aren't actually being careful with taxpayer money. They're just wasting it. If the government are claiming that they are in danger of being involved in a sunk cost fallacy, then the correct response is to scrap it altogether. But then, of course, they would look foolish. And people will ask how much they've already spent on absolutely nothing. The answer, by the way, is about £100 billion so far. Then, being on the side of the motorist and the HGV driver. I would advise the minister to go to Dover and try telling HGV drivers and car drivers, particularly at holiday times, that they have their interests on, at heart. As for the bus passengers, the Tories have actually literally cut half of all the bus routes which existed in 2010. Particular problem in the coastal and rural areas where the Conservatives traditionally need to attract votes. So I don't really see how they're on the side of the bus passenger either. And, and this all matters to a lot of Conservative MPs because many of them were elected in 2019 for three reasons. And one of them was levelling up. And given that the other two, Brexit and Corbyn, are no longer seen as serious issues for the next election by voters, levelling up is all the Tories have. Red Wall Tories in particular know that they need to point at something, like, you gave us your vote and we did this. And one of the problems, as I see it, is that HS2 really is symbolic of the fatal dichotomy that Boris Johnson created within the Conservative Party. 
So you've got your traditional Tory areas. They're already affluent by and large. Mostly they want the government to protect their way of life and keep taxes down. They're not impressed with the highest tax burn for generations. They're not impressed with raw sewage in the rivers. And they're not impressed with the idea of public spending to help people in more deprived parts of the country compete with them. But then you had this new type of conservative created in 2019. They were less bothered about the high taxes if it meant visible signs of public investment. They wanted the levelling up. They needed it. In 2019, after the election win, Boris Johnson was quite clear, made a public speech saying that he recognised he'd only borrowed the votes of these people and would have to deliver on his levelling up programme in order to retain them at the next election. HS2 was like the crown jewel in this dichotomy. You had Boris Johnson who wanted to deliver projects like HS2, but he was too lazy and chaotic to put his shoulder behind the plans. Then you had his new chancellor, Rishi Sunak, who wanted to cut public spending wherever he could, who was more organised and so able to keep undermining the project. With Sunak as Prime Minister and Hunt as Chancellor now, there is, there is nobody involved in the project who wants it to succeed. So the argument about whether HS2 was a good idea in the first place or not is now completely moot because it's not going to happen. What is going to happen is we're going to spend a lot of money destroying some natural habitats for some new rail lines that don't actually connect up anywhere useful at either end. And we're going to have spent, so far, we'll have spent four times the annual rail budget on this rail project that doesn't actually do anything. In fact, with Sunak as Prime Minister and Hunt as Chancellor, there is now no interest in levelling up at all, other than paying lip service to it. You know, they're, they're now calling, any public spending at all is now called levelling up. Anything, even public spending that happened before, is now called levelling up. That's their interest. They don't care about actually levelling up, which was supposed to be about closing the gap between the left behind areas and, and the more affluent areas. Remember, Sunak boasted about taking money from deprived areas and handing it to already affluent ones. And if you don't remember that from last summer, don't worry, it's all recorded and Labour will be sharing that video yet again, reminding everyone during the general election campaign. It's hard to identify a more fitting symbol of what the Tories in government actually are than this HS2. Expensive, damaging and worthless all at the same time. But there we are. Those are my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comments below. I hope you found the video interesting. If you did, please click the like button. If you'd like to support the channel further, the join button for memberships. And until next time, I'll see you later.